So this is the finished look that we're going to go for today. It's a weathered, crackled paint effect. We start with some PVA and add to that a little bit of water to give it a, a thick, creamy consistency. Not too runny, but uh, it needs to be able to dribble off the brush. We do the same with the paint. This is our top colour. Again, mixed to a thick, creamy consistency. It's a water-based vinyl acrylic. And finally, we need a hair dryer, uh, ideally one with a high heat setting. After painting the flat, the base colour, in this case a grey which was mottled and scumbled, a dark grey, brush on your glue. The aim is to cover as much as the small area that you're working on as possible, as quickly as possible. You could use a, a brush, in this case, uh, we could use a roller. Um, you could use a sponge, you can experiment with how you want to apply your glue. In this case we're using a brush because it gives us nice uh, tram lines in the glue. These will help later on to make the cracks. You can use some long brush strokes here and make sure you cover all the area that you want. At this point, you want to quickly take your hair dryer and on a high heat setting, you want to dry the glue. What we're trying to achieve here is a skin on top of the glue and allow underneath to still be wet. Again, you can experiment with timing depending if it's a, a dry day, a warm summer day, or if it's cold and wet, you might find the drying times will be slightly different. After a few minutes, we can get our paint, and we can start to apply the paint on top of the, the glue which is skinned over. At this point it's probably important to point out that you don't want to overwork your paint because if you overwork it you will disturb the PVA that's underneath and you'll end up with a kind of a, a gluey paint mixture mess. So you're trying to get the paint on the glue without disturbing the skin too much. You can leave some holidays, i.e. Uh, gaps in the paint, and again you can experiment with how you want to apply this paint. You could use a spray gun, uh, in this case we have used uh, a brush. Now grab your hairdryer again and once more you want to start with high heat quite close to the surface. With a little bit of patience slowly working over the entire area, you will start to see cracks developing. If you want, you can add another hair dryer to speed up the process. So what is actually happening is you're softening the PVA that was underneath that hadn't quite fully dried and it starts to move and slide and you can see already there are some cracks developing in the top layer of the paint and the cracks now start to get slightly larger. With the hairdryer you can force some, make them larger or with a light airing of the hairdryer you get slightly smaller cracks. Again, experiment with the materials that you have and the hairdryer that you have. Obviously at the moment the cracks are appearing white, some of them that's the PVA, which as you know will dry clear. Continue all over until the PVA will set and the cracks will no longer become any larger.
continue on to the next small area and repeat the process. Notice in the piece that's finished at the bottom of the screen the cracks are lovely and large and dramatic. You can also experiment with different base colours. We've gone for quite a high contrast, so a very dark base paint with a relatively light top coat. But if you wanted a more subtle effect, you could adjust the tones of your base paint and your top paint. Again, at this point, you might want to leave more holidays in the glue which will uh, achieve larger gaps or cracks in your finished painting. You see there are slightly thicker areas of glue. That's also good. You don't want it to be too even. Again, apply high heat. And again, Apply your paint relatively softly but quite thick. We're using a brush in this case which adds to the uh, effect. If you wanted a more uniform coverage you could use a, a very wet spray from a spray gun on top of the glue it would also give you a nice interesting effect. And with the hair dryer we now start to simultaneously dry off the top layer of paint and also soften the bottom layer of PVA giving us this dramatic effect. So, go and experiment, try different colours, try different surfaces, um, although it does work best on a smooth surface like MDF or primed and sanded plywood. On canvas and porous surfaces it doesn't work so well.